happening now. Seconds ago, the stock market's open and what you're looking at right there, a live look at Donald Trump's social media company, Trump Media, down nearly 3% so far in trading today. The market's open literally 40 seconds ago. This after he lost almost 20% yesterday, $1 billion on paper yesterday, plus a little so far today. Matt Egan is here with me to watch this and explain what happened yesterday why did it drop so much? Well, John, today looks more like a dip than a dive, but anything can happen with this stock. It is subject to wild moves, right? Don't blink because you could miss a 10% move in either direction. Yesterday, as you mentioned, this stock lost almost a quarter of its value in one day. That means Donald Trump's net worth went down by about a billion dollars because he is the dominant shareholder in Trump Media, the owner of True Social. You can see the stock Zero just, it just went flat on that. Yeah. The reason why it fell so sharply yesterday though, they posted 2023 results. They were not pretty. The company lost $58 million last year on very little revenue, $4.1 million in revenue. That is so tiny because this is a company that started the week valued at $11 billion. The results were actually very much in line with another digital media company that flamed out earlier this year, The Messenger. I'm not saying that Truth Social is going to go the way of the messenger, but it does show why. Some experts are warning this is a meme stock and it's ridiculously over, overvalued. And, and quickly, you were explaining to me so yeah. I could understand it. If I can understand it, anyone can. <laughs> um, there was an accounting warning having to do with True Social. There was. So in the SEC filings yesterday, there was a warning from accountants that I do think spooked some investors, fueled some of the losses. The accountants said that the losses for Trump media were so severe that they, quote, raised substantial doubt about its ability to continue as a going concern. Let me translate, that is Wall Street speak for, we may go out of business. But John, there's an asterisk there, as you Turn see the positive. stock just turned slightly positive. The asterisk is that warning likely predated the merger. And the merger didn't just bring true social public, it also led to a cash infusion of $300 million. And that should be enough to let this company uh, to buy some time. But in the meantime, John, listen, there's, there's gonna be wild swings up and down, fasten your seatbelts. And then one of the most shorted stocks, I understand, on Wall Street right now. Matt Egan, great to see Thanks, you. Thanks, John. Shares of Trump Media and Technology Group, the parent company of Truth Social, plunged yesterday after a new SEC filing revealed the company lost more than $58 million in 2023. That compared to a $50.5 million profit in 2022. Donald Trump, who owns a majority of the newly public company, saw his own net worth tumble by more than a billion dollars on paper. Uh, I don't think, how many tours would you have to sell? A lot of it was. <laughs> to, to a billion Larger dollars. than the Jewish market alone. Let's just put it that way. Uh, Sarah Fisher, uh, can you help us understand, I mean, what, what the valuation is here? And, like, look, the stock market, it, it, no, I'm not a business reporter. You know a lot more about this than I do. I think for average voters, it's clear that sometimes the market will reward companies that are losing money because there's a promise of return in the future. They're making a bet that this is going to be successful. Is that what's going on with True Social or is something else going on with True Social? Because I guess I struggle to see how like this changes. <laughs> You're exactly right. This is what we would call a meme stock, which is where its financials are completely divorced from its market uh, valuation. The way you know it's a meme stock, when you look at other social media companies that have gone public, and we have a great proxy in Reddit, which went public just two weeks ago, you have a lot of a user base and that's what the promise is. So even if they're not making money, you think that eventually they will because so many people use the product. And look, it's not unusual for social media companies to go public and not make money. Snapchat has still never posted a full profitable year in terms of EBITDA. Twitter in its nine years as being public had only two profitable years. So this is not unusual. But what's unusual is that they're not revealing user metrics, right? Normally tech companies are screaming to the mountaintops to investors, look how many people love our product. Nothing was revealed there. And they're also not revealing much about their business strategy. And so I think right now you have a lot of momentum from what we call retail investors, right? Fans who want to buy into the stock. But are institutional investors, big banks, going to continue to back the stock? Absolutely not. And that's why when they did finally reveal these losses for 2023, a lot of wind was pulled out of the sales. Can I ask you why they made money in 2022? And they sold ads. Money in, okay. They sold ads. And so then why, but the, why, what's the difference? Because I think we can show us, they made $50.5 million in 22 and they lost $58.2 million in ah, 2023. Because they borrowed money and the interest on that debt added up. Got it. And so some of that loss is attributed to debt, which, by the way, is not a great position to be in like your first few weeks, right, on the stock market. The other thing I want to note here, Donald Trump can't sell his stock right now. He's in what we call a lockup, which means that for the next six months, he's got to sit on those shares. 
there's a very real possibility that this stock tanks in that time and that when he does go to buy sell the shares, they're not worth anything. And so when all these people are saying, oh, well, Donald Trump's net worth is now billions of dollars, well, let's see what happens in six months from now and what this company looks like. Yeah, so I actually think the losses, to your point, are kind of meaningless because all these places lose money. The question, the, 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 the damning number is the revenue. There are literally, million. yeah, they're like literally supermarkets. And I don't mean chains. I mean individual, the average individual supermarket has greater revenue than True Social <laughs> does. You wouldn't value that in the billions of dollars, no. your corner of supermarket. I should be in the supermarket industry if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, I, I, this, again, yes, all these incredibly salient and smart points about uh, the financials and how tech companies lose money, social media companies lose money, absolutely. But there is something kind of uh, poetic and poignant about the fact that, like, once again, the emperor has no clothes. Like, this is such a Donald Trump thing where, you know, for a couple of weeks now, it's been like, oh, you know, billions of dollars. And then, you know, when you actually, like, we've got to put your cards on the table, it's like, well actually the, the infrastructure isn't there. And that applies to so many things in Donald Trump's universe. Well, and I think it tells you what this company really is. It isn't a social media company. It's Donald Trump as a company. Mm -hmm. Literally, the ticker sign is DJT. People are buying it because it represents Donald Trump. Donald Trump, the personal brand. And they want to invest in that brand, whether it's because they want to give him money or they just want to be associated with it. And so it's going to rise and fall with how people feel about Trump. And it has nothing to do with any business. I mean, I'm on True Social just to see what Trump says. And I think most people <laughs> probably are. They're not on there for the reason that people join social media companies to make friends and have conversations. It's just to see what Trump says. And so it, it's, it's all about Trump, and that's going to determine, I think, the fate of this company.